Hey, Pastor Blair here with Tactical Pulpit. Um, I've got a different kind of video. I'm, uh, I'm by no means a reviewer. However, I just came across this uh, item and there's not much out there on YouTube, so I thought I'd do a quick little video. Um, this is called the uh, Max Axe by Pioneer Force Products. Um, the Max Axe, and you know I'm an axe guy. <clears throat> So, this is the whole kit. The whole kit weighs about 12 pounds, which is something else that's uh, odd for me because I'm kind of a pack-out camper. And this is obviously too much to pack out. So, um, this, is, this, this is an older one. It's uh, brand new, never been used. Um, but this is a... Uh, Max Axe provides these to the military. Um, and they go on the military vehicles. Nice leather sheath there, and kind of a Hudson, it is a Hudson Bay style head. Um, now, you're wondering about the, about the peephole there. <clears throat> it's not a sight. Um, because in this pouch, you have all these attachments. Um, you have a shovel. Right, so this... And actually, you're supposed to leave this on here if you're going to use the attachment. Sorry about the wind out here. And I hear a, you might hear thunder storms rolling in. So there's your, your and they've got these keys there, these pins. <clears throat> so there's your shovel. I'm going to try this as long as I've got you. I've never, like I said, this is the first time I've ever used this. Yeah, I actually like that. Um, <clears throat> so works good. It's got the steps on both sides. That actually works good. They could say this is eight tools in one. <clears throat> so the shovel there. Um, let's use the the roots in the ground there. Let's use this Maddox here. <clears throat> yeah, that's a big rip. That's a good size rip there. So I'd say that works well. That's the Maddox. <clears throat> we'll get this out. <clears throat> Let's see. We've got a little pick for a, a pickaxe there. And then uh, a slightly wider pick for uh, rocky terrain and such. <clears throat> and then, of course, we've got the axe. Um, now, the website says this is tool steel. Um, I didn't get much further than that. I called the factory, actually. And the reason I called them, <clears throat> I did profile this edge. Um, it was blatantly dull. You know what I mean? Like, purposefully dull. And so I called there, and... I talked to Kathy in the office and she said yes. All of them are sent out that way. This is for forestry, for military, and for uh, a big part piece of the market is mud trucks. And <clears throat> all of those are axe guys who like different profiled edges. So they do not profile the edge, they don't sharpen the edge at all. They send it out that way, it's easier for shipping. So don't expect this to come <clears throat> um, razor sharp. But uh, so let's see if you can see that label there, Max Axe. 
So I'm going to try this axe. I have sharpened it, but I've never used it. Nice, nice for mud trucks. Um, you know, if you get stuck or you come across a down tree in the trail or, or I'm going to use this one for camping, not pack camping. Can you guys see the mosquitoes out here? My goodness. So, but something I can uh, have when we go camping with the family in the pop-up or something like that. So I'm going to try this axe out. Yeah, it's a serious chopper. Of course, with that slim profile, um, like I said, a uh, Hudson Bay head. I expected nothing less. <clears throat> the other thing in the tool compartment, if I can find it. Here it is. Is this uh, again? Always recommended to have this on there when using any anything but the axe. Very nice leather sheath. <clears throat> now this is. Uh, there we go. So this, it's kind of nice, huh? Yeah. And then, this is reversible. So we turn this around. Turn this around and we've got this uh, hole. See how that fits, these teeth fit right between the, or the blade of the axe fits right between these teeth. And so the hole. Yeah, that's to be expected. <clears throat> A lot of these multi-purpose tools are pretty chintzy. Um, but this eye, I, I don't know if they call it an eye or not. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, yeah. But that's quarter inch steel. So it's, uh, in the, the pieces aren't loose when you put them in there. Um, that was my concern, is they'd be rattling around. No, they fit in there tight. This is the Max Axe. Let's go give this some real world application. If we can beat the weather.
I'm standing here on a beaver dam, and what happens is they build this dam here. There's actually a culvert here. They plug this up and it floods for oh acres. Anyway, so uh, what I've got is the hoe attachment on here. <laughs> Against uh, my own advice, I don't have the leather sheath on here for for obvious reasons. <clears throat> and so I got to dig this mud out of here to eventually get down and uh, clear that culvert. Once this is, uh, once this culvert's cleared, all the water can run, there's a road right here, can run underneath the road and on through. But the beavers haven't packed up. There's a grate in front of the culvert and the beavers just pack that with mud until the water stops and boy, they're good at their job. Got it. Okay, I made it back. I'm um, just going to recap everything. As you can see, it's a, uh, it's a handy little tool to have. Um, just have around, have on hand. So, just to recap, I think it's just too doggone heavy to... It is, I don't think it is. It is too heavy to, to use on, in a hiking or pack out camping capacity. Um, but a really good... You know, if you got a motorhome or a, uh, a camper trailer, it would uh, work really great. Um, I think for me personally, uh, I just did a video on building a truck axe, but I think this is going to be my go-to um, with all those accessories. You know, you've got the you've got the pouch and all the accessories in here, the shovel, the 
the uh, hole like I used on that uh, beaver dam. But just the axe itself is, is it's just a nice, um, good quality. Some of, the, some of the paint came off there, as you can see. It's, that's not a big deal to me. I'll keep it oiled up. Um, like I said, doesn't come with a, an edge whatsoever, but I, I spent like five minutes on this with a file and, and got a kind of pretty rough edge, but it, as you can see, it worked fine. Um, I like this. This is going in my truck. Um, as I said, recommended um, military, forestry, 4x4, off-roaders, and I'm going to make one more suggestion, uh, farm trucks. So I'm going to keep it in the, in the pickup, and man, the, the multitude of uses this, this will be uh, come in handy for. Okay, so uh, on, the, on the website, they go for $250 for the whole kit. Um, is that too much? I don't know. I'm, I'm the budget guy, so it's, it's, it's too much for me. But uh, I am going to get some good use out of this, I guarantee it. So you'll have to ask yourself that question. I think it'd be really cool if I had a mud truck and that was my hobby to go off-roading on these trails. The 8 and 1, 8 tools and 1, I just, man, you'd fill the back of a pickup with these 8 different tools. So it's nice and it's compact. And as I said, it stays tight. Everything stays tight. You don't have that clanging and that rattling. Uh, even the shovel, you know, it worked great. So um, I guess if, if, if you can justify the price, I recommend it. I'm, I'm not going to say yes or no. Um, $250 is a lot of money for, for uh, uh, something like that maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It is for me. I got a good deal on this one, and I'm grateful to have it. Um, and I'm going to use it. Thank you. This has been Pastor Blair. Like, subscribe, uh, comment. Thanks.